Hammocks were invented more than 800 years ago. They were used in Central America, South America, and the Caribbean when Christopher Columbus discovered the New World. Most pre-Columbian dwellings were open-air huts. Hammocks allowed people to sleep off the ground, safe from snakes and other dangerous creatures. The name hammock comes from amaka, or thrown fishing net, that the Taino people slept on when on long fishing trips. Christopher Columbus returned to Spain with a load of hammocks. Hammocks offer many benefits compared to sleeping in tents on the ground. They are lightweight and easy to carry. And the most important benefit is that hammocks are comfortable. The gentle rocking motion is very relaxing, especially when watching nature up close and personal. Most people fall asleep faster and deeper in hammocks than they do in traditional beds. There are many different ways to set up a hammock. The notion of a perfect hang is false. You don't have to have trees that are 15 feet apart. The uh, angle of the hammock doesn't have to be 30 degrees, and, it, and the bottom of it doesn't have to be 18 inches from the ground. My friend Bill in the Hills and his son Eric built a hammock out of rope that sort of looks like a thrown fishing net. And this creates an awesome playground where lots of folks can, can rest and play and hang out in the trees, going back into history to discover the future. Hammocks are often used as outdoor furniture, sometimes hanging on porches or put on a frame in the backyard. They may be made out of canvas or crocheted from yarn. Hammock chairs made with canvas over a wood frame are comfortable on the beach. It's also easy to make a canvas hammock chair. The possibilities are endless. In the late 1500s, hammocks were adopted for use on sailing ships. They saved space and in rough seas, they were more comfortable than bunks. Hammocks were common on ships through the mid-1900s. Hammocks were used during the United States Apollo moon landings from 1969 to 1972. To save space on the lunar module, astronauts slept in hammocks. This diagram shows how the hammocks were used and stowed. Back on Earth, hikers and campers are experimenting with many hammock innovations. This is a bridge hammock with a bug net and underquilt. It's made with modern, high-tech fabrics. Other innovations are made with cotton bed sheets and dead branches. Hammocks used for hiking, camping, and biking are often called traveler hammocks. They are lightweight and can be set up almost anywhere.
Looked like too much, but it's a ground hammock with wood that I collected on the beach. Never know quite what you're going to find. In the late 1800s, people relaxed in their hammocks, enjoying the simple things in life. But times were changing. Lives would never be the same again. Modern inventions improved everything, including hammocks. An automatic cradle could rock your baby to sleep. It was made with a hammock net and clock spring motor. Simply fantastic a must-have invention for the modern family. In 1886, the White Mountain Hammock Chair was marketed to relieve back pain. It could be converted from a chair to a flat hammock. I liked the idea so much that I made a replica, and it actually worked, causing my back pain to disappear. Or maybe it was the swim in the nice cool water after sitting in the chair. Hammock hydrotherapy was used to treat disease at the turn of the century. People were suspended in hammocks over bathtubs so that diseased areas could be submerged in warm water. This allowed patients to be maintained in the most comfortable and restful position. Hammock hydrotherapy is still used today with commercially made hammocks that are designed to be filled with water. I've also discovered that a regular camping hammock can be submerged in water. Last summer, I set up my hammock in a gently flowing river. It was very relaxing, water inside the hammock, moving back and forth slowly, my aches and pains disappeared. And whenever I wanted, I could just open the hammock and swim out. Awesome. Some of these early hammock inventions were not successful. For example, the Mulby revolving hammock was all the go in 1922. It promised to make your spine young. Unfortunately, it did more harm than good and was rated by Men's Fitness magazine as one of the worst 12 inventions of all time. In recent years, hammocks and swings have been used for sensory integration therapy. They help with autism for both children and adults, providing peace and calmness. Different products have been developed for different situations. Therapy can be as simple as making a bedsheet hammock that can be used as a swing or a chair. I find this type of simple hammock good for meditation. It is very relaxing. Some yoga practitioners have taken this idea much further with aerial hammock swings, combining traditional yoga poses and dance. I'm not sure what to think. I, I guess it's okay if you're a contortionist. I'll just sit back, watch, and enjoy. Have you ever been playing at the beach and wanted to sit down on your towel, but the sand was all muddy and you didn't want to get your towel dirty. I've got just the trick. Turn your towel into a hammock chair with four pieces of rope. I'm gonna make the chair right over there so that I can rest uh, under the trees looking at the lake.
pinch I could sleep in it. You know, in a survival situation all I need is a towel and I can turn it into a hammock. Try it again. I think it'll work. If I were a young ninja, I could sleep in this hammock, and with practice, it could even be made comfortable. It has several important qualities. First of all, it keeps me off the ground. It keeps me hidden. I'm secure. Uh, it's portable. It uses materials that I have with me. Uh, you know, I have some ideas for making this hammock better for me, uh, something that I could use in, in modern days. I've been watching butterflies and moths. And you know, they start off life as an egg, and then they become caterpillars, and then they go through metamorphosis. 
and they become pupa that uh, are inside of a cocoon that they spin or some sort of web structure. Almost like this hammock. I'm going to look at some of these guys and maybe these insects will give me an idea to make even a better hammock. This is the life. You know, I'm, I'm low to the ground, I'm secure. I'm just off the ground so that if, it, if it's wet, I don't get wet. I can put a, a tarp over the log to keep so I can stay dry. No wonder why insects hang like this. Until next time, peace.